Paul, why did you run away? Why you run away when that you, but you go around patronising Christians all the time. You're a very patronising person. Takia is presenting things in the best possible light. And if that means you have to withhold information, you do so. He was pushed. He saw it. I saw it. The guy did it and he stood here and said he didn't. Let's move away from this guy. Uncle Olumba. So, ask Uncle Asif. So, let's, let's, what? Brother, you just tell the camera what you saw. Okay. Um, are you rolling? Peace and blessings of Christ to the audience. What, what's happened now is that uh, I was over at the side and I saw Bob um, being, um, I would say, being pushed but standing up for himself to a, a Muslim uh, man that was um, being aggressive. I wasn't sure what the aggression was about, but Bob was stating that um, a, an older Christian uh, brother, Asif, was being pushed and being bullied. And uh, I think you guys should give your testimony to what happened. Um, so what, what, what I saw what happened, was, Bob? was Uncle Asif. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Asif Uncle. was wanting to get into a conversation. And a, 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 a much and the larger Muslim guy. And was pushing. That's pushing. That's what you do. Oh, you saw me do it. Yeah, yeah. That's what you did. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, that's what you did. No, you were telling the truth. You were telling the truth. Pushing the elder. This is what the Muslim used to do. And lying is so normal. To the, the Dawah team, lying the, the Muslims in this park so habitually lie that they will directly contradict what everyone saw. He was pushed, he saw it, I saw it, the guy did it, and he stood here and said he didn't. Now, what is it about the Muslims of the park that lying is so natural to them? Yeah. Why yeah. is it that they go around the park lying about the Christian faith, then lying about their behavior, and then lying about their conduct? All the time. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. What is it? Yeah, that has failed them. All, all the Muslims. All the Muslims. All the Muslims. Yeah. All the Muslims. 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 So, by contrast, by contrast, Christians are told by our Lord, let your yes be yes and your no be no. In other words, Christians are committed to a radical search for the truth. Truth is more important than me, that's to right, me, yeah, than yeah, being a Christian. That's yes. right. That's it's right. more important to me than being a Christian. Uh -huh. I would become a Muslim if I believed it to be true. If there were good reasons. I wouldn't deceive myself. But by contrast, what I experience is that Muslims, following a doctrine of taqiyya, that the Shia accused the Sunni of doing, yeah. and the Sunni accused the Shia of doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're both They both accuse one yeah. another of doing oh, it. Oh, 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 Takia yeah. 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 is presenting things yeah. in the best possible light. Yeah. And if that means you have to withhold information, you do so. I'll tell you how I became a Christian. It was because of a Muslim. A Muslim from Somalia, yeah, yeah, yeah. who was a fan of Ahmed Didat. <laughs> and I, he used to read all of the books by Ahmed Didat. And he used to come to me and he used to say, Ah, but the Bible's been changed. The Trinity doesn't make sense. Jesus wasn't crucified. 
he never rose from the dead. Do these arguments sound familiar, Muslims? Aren't these the kind of arguments you've heard a million times Where's before? Where's your pounds? Pay, pay, pay before the day. Pay Here's another example. Here's another example. Of a Muslim in the park. Like, put noise. Put your hand up. If you heard him, put your hand up. If you heard him, he was going to debate me for 500 pounds. Where's the money? Where's the money? The arguments, the arguments, the arguments, the arguments, the kind of arguments that I can be used. And when I studied the these arguments, when I studied them, no, I found that my Muslim friend had been lied to. Oh, okay, I'm going to move that way. I'm going to move that way. that the Bible had been corrupted. They said to me that Jesus had never resurrected. That the Trinity made no sense. These were the arguments used So, these were the kind of arguments. These were the kind of arguments the Muslims were using. And they were lies because the Christian faith is not built on the Bible. The Bible came out of the Christian faith. There's a difference between Allah. I think you should continue in your monologue. You make more sense. So, the fact of the matter is, is that Muslims. You have to excuse me, yeah? Excuse me. Excuse me, bro. I'm not talking to you. I was not talking to you. So, let's continue. Don't come here with your rhetoric. Go away. Go away. Come on, come on. No, he was following me, bro. Get your facts right. Why is he pushing him away? No, he was following me. Why is he pushing him away? Why was he pushing his way towards me? I never touched him. I never touched him. Because he's in the way. Why did you push me out of here? I never touched him. Why did you push him out of here? 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 Why did you push
don't own the park. You don't own the park. I didn't see him. So why are you talking to him? I did not touch him. I did not touch him. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Hey, I have no appeal. No one touched him. I did not touch him. No one touched 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 him. You're a liar! You're a liar! You're not a man with your word! You're a coward! Let's go talk to Paul. Okay, Paul, how are you, Paul? How are you doing, Paul? And it's going in reverse. Very well, thank you. We'd like to talk to you about your supposed evidence of the injury. Uh, you know, you were, you remember when you came two weeks ago and you said, oh, I've got it here. A one and you were holding up the New a Testament. A one condition. That's what I want to talk about. A one condition. You don't make conditions. I make conditions. Go on then, what's your condition? You don't shout at me. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> because your voice is in my Deal. ear, Bob. Okay. I will not shout. I, I can't agree with you. your voice. Right, let's go and talk. Come on. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're talking about this. I'm sorry, no. I've, been, I've been swept away by yeah, I've been, I've been swept away by oh, speculation. Yes, oh, and some respect. Oh, yes, I am. I thought you brought the police with you as well, maybe. Let's, let's go and talk. Oh, right. Shall we, we do over there? We've got more chances. Oh, I'm nice to see you. I'm nice to on your, your Muslim brothers with the community. Ah, we're out of the wind as well. Right, well, for a minute. So, two weeks ago, yeah. I was going through purgatory in that I was having purgatory. a debate with Lamin. <laughs> And it's convinced me, actually, that maybe purgatory, purgatory is a real yeah. existence. Because <laughs> the guy just works from a script and he can't have an intelligent conversation. But I know that you can. I know that you can. It's a bit unfair. But you came in and you heckled me, which is your right. This is Speaker's Corner. Yeah, you, you came in and heckled me. My hearing is fair. You came in and heckled me and you were saying that you had proof of this mythical book called the Injil. I didn't say I had proof of a mythical book. Yeah, you said you had proof of this <laughs> mythical book called the Injil. I didn't say it was a mythical yeah. book. So, you so what, what is your evidence of this mythical book called the Injil? No, I didn't say I had proof. I, I said... You, you're blatantly on record saying that you held it in your hand. You what? said, it, I have it here. That's let, what you let, said. Let me, let me explain what I went. And you're going to be patient with me because it's not um, a, a simple thing with just a slogan that I can just throw out. When, um, historically, we look at the Gospel, what is the Gospel or the Gospels? We're looking at various different phenomena that are called by the same name. So, for example, at the beginning of Mark's Gospel, we have uh, Jesus going into Galilee and he preaches the Gospel. So this is uh, a Gospel that Jesus preaches. Also, Christians and others refer to the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And they are clearly that Jesus wrote, uh, sorry, that Jesus spoke this Gospel. There's also another gospel, and this is a more of a Muslim perspective, although many scholars agree. Whoa, the wind's out here. Um, there's also another gospel, maybe I just show it um, and that is the gospel of Paul, which I think is quite different from the gospel that Jesus preached. So Muslims identify an original gospel preached by Jesus, which we identify with what the Quran talks about. Now, what does the Quran talk about? Hold on a second, stop. Well, I'm quite, let me just finish, because there's a complete uh, overview okay. here. And, and, then, and then you can carry on. Yeah. So there's, a, there's another sense the word gospel is used in these kind of discussions. So we've got the gospel preached by Jesus as spoken of in Mark's gospel and elsewhere. Jesus preaches an actual gospel, that's what it says. There are the four gospels, the gospel of Matthew, Mark and Luke. There's the gospel of Paul, which many scholars, including my, I'm not a scholar, but I agree with these scholars, that that gospel is quite different from the gospel preached by Jesus. And there's another gospel called the Injil, which the Quran of course mentions in Surah Al-Maida, which is the fifth chapter, we can look at it, verse 47, 48. It talks about a gospel given to Jesus by God himself. And in the Quran's understanding of Revelation, God gave the Torah to Moses. God gave the Injil oh, to Jesus. Well, I know, but I, I said I would. Yeah. 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 I'm nearly finished. Give me, right. give, me another, give me another 30 seconds. Because I've got to make my case, otherwise we're going to be all okay. across okay. purposes. So, um, so there's that other gospel given to Jesus um, that the Quran identifies. Now my final point would be this, that in my view, 
the gospel given to Jesus is the same gospel that the New Testament gospels, plural, te uh, attest to when they have Jesus preaching the gospel. Because if you look at the content of that gospel, it's the same as the gospel in the uh, the gospel message in the Quran. Seconds. Maybe we need to time this, because like but uh, I, I, I'm not happy with you. You're, you're stopping me completing what I'm saying because it's right. important we understand yeah, we're talking. So, uh, are, are you in a rush to go somewhere? No, no, but but I'm also aware that because I'm not in a rush to go anywhere. I, I do because this. Let me explain why. This is oh, it. This no, is no, a, no, 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 no. Right. You made your right. point. So you made your point. Allow me to reply. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right. I know. Be the fair, idea of letting fair. other people speak is not yeah, your strong fair, point, but try. Oh, he's, he's walk away. What a surprise! Wow. And that's Paul for you guys. Wow. That is Paul for you all over the wow. place. Wow. He, he makes. He makes. <laughs> he makes his points, <laughs> and he walks away. Yeah. So let let me let me reply to his points. Let me reply to his points, because. He's, he, he does what many Muslims who, are, who at least have read a book try to do. They deal in half-truths. Because he is right. Jesus preached the gospel. The gospel of the coming of the kingdom of God. And that gospel is inherently linked to Jesus' own life and own person. And that gospel that is linked to his own life and his own person is also connected to his death and crucifixion. So then there are four gospels that talk about the life of Jesus because the coming of the kingdom of God is inherently connected to the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And then the apostles disciple us in how we are to respond to that gospel. So they respond to the gospel and teach us about how to behave now that the kingdom of God is here because of the life of Jesus, his death, crucifixion and resurrection. Yeah? And that's the point that Paul ignores. That is the point that Paul ignores. And unfortunately, he comes and he heckles and he comes and he patronizes people, Christians, and he tries to make them feel small by being smug towards them. But when someone actually challenges him, as you can see, like everyone else in the Dawah team, they run away. So let's go back and ask him let's how he'd like to reply. Thank you, coward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Coward. Thank, Thank, Thank you, coward. Thank you. I don't mind. I don't mind. Call me what you like. Coward. Why are you, why are you Stop drinking cabo, please. Why are you running away when Sandawa? Stop drinking cabo, please. Why are you running away, coward? Paul, why did you run away? Why are you running away when you But you go around patronizing Christians all the time. Why are you running away? You're a very patronizing person. Why are you running away? You're very patronizing to Christians. No. Why is it you no, can't be challenged? Why are you interrupting? Why are you engaging in debate when you don't want that? Not just yet. Well, no, okay. Come back to you. Fair enough, bro. Just like he goes around. Where, where's the evidence of this in your Paul? I've learned talking to you is I'm not profitable because you 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 don't let me speak. I did let you speak. You spoke for ages. It's on camera. How long for? How long? I have no idea. Two, three minutes. I spoke for one minute and a half. I spoke for one minute and a half. And you can cope with one minute and a half. Wow! Bro. You need to get a life. And then, and then you didn't want to. And then you didn't want to listen to any Thank answer. You. One minute and a half. I spoke. Allow, allow him to respond. Don't you didn't wow. respond. Don't you didn't listen to the answer. You haven't got the patience the the debate, or the manners yeah. to allow me to speak you, for more than you. one and a half Paul, minutes. You go around you patronizing people all the time. Don't just the time. Bye bye. Why are you running? You always run away when I want to debate. I'm not running. I'm turning my back. Always run away. Someone like you. I I I wanted to debate about the crucifixion and the fact that Allah lied in the Quran. You're not a fit person to debate. Right. You're not Allah a fit lied person. in the Quran and you didn't want to debate. You're not that. a fit person. You came and heckled me. Remember when you came and heckled me, Paul? Do you remember? Do you remember when you came and heckled me, Paul? And you came and heckled me and said you had proof. Where, where is your evidence of this fictitious mythical book called the Indian? If you wish to join the conversation, I agree. Wait until the suit is removed. Paul. 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 Paul.
What about when Paul does it? When Paul goes round heckling Christian? What about when Paul goes round heckling Christian? So Paul can heckle Christians, but Christians can't heckle Paul. Is that how it works? Paul, Paul, do you remember when you came and heckled me? Do you remember, Paul, when I was having a debate and you barged your way into that conversation? Paul, do you remember that? Paul, Paul, it's on camera, do you remember? Now you see the chance to debate the topic, Paul. Okay. So we see Paul doesn't want to debate. He wants to heckle, he wants to make his point, but he doesn't want to debate. And like the rest of the Dawa team, this is how they go on. But when you challenge them, they're the first to cry sheep. They're the first to cry wolf. They're the first to say it's not fair. What does that tell you?